welcome to this video log with me Wayne from SwimmingCyclingRunning.com. Well today I'm going to be dealing with something that is hugely important no matter what stroke you're swimming um, or what event you're going in for and that's arm speed. Now there's a, an optimum arm speed for every single swimmer in every single stroke and you might not believe that. You, know, you see this really nice long that appears slow stroke in front crawl and you think God they look like they're making no effort. But you'll be surprised these swimmers with long strokes are actually going much faster in terms of stroke rate than you might think. And that's true right the way through all the strokes and right the way through all the distances. Now you won't find a massive difference between necessarily a swimmer doing 1500 meters and a swimmer doing 100 meters. 50 meters slightly different, you're trying to go as fast as you can. Now, one of these stopwatches is usefully hugely important on that. In that, you can take a stroke rate if on a stroke you go stroke one, two, three, it tells you how many strokes a minute that was. And that was 61 strokes a minute. You'll see what I mean when I go to the, the, the computer and show you examples of some front crawl swimmers in 100, 400 and 1500 swimmers at the recent summer uh, English championships. Now these are excellent swimmers and therefore they are directly comparable one with another. We're not taking poor swimmers with good swimmers, we're taking all good swimmers. So these are directly comparable. It's interesting what we find out. We're going to start by looking at the 400 meter free 18 years and over at the English nationals that were recently on. Um, and remember the people in the middle are meant to be the seeded swimmers, they're the ones that should actually go fastest. And we'll start at the beginning and then we'll have a look um, at the end of the race and see what sort of stroke rates they're keeping up. Um, there we go, we're just going to about to start. And we just speed this up to the actual start itself. There we go, oh, there we go. We're in. Um, now let's take some stroke rates fairly well off. Guy in the lead in the blue hat, click one, two, three. Now that is 93 strokes a minute. Next to him, click one, two, three. We've got 92 strokes a minute next to him the other side. Click one, two, three. And 87 strokes a minute. So we've got some fairly fast stroke rates going out here. Let's see what happens in the middle and at the end of the race. So we've had the 200 turn and the seeding is pretty much working out. The centre of pull is the fastest. And we'll just take the stroke rates now. The leader there, click one, two, three. Three, that's 85 strokes a minute, just about to pass him, I think, next to him. Click, one, two, three, in 84 strokes a minute, and next to, next to the other side. Click, one, two, three, and we've got 74 strokes a minute. So they're maintaining that high stroke rate, it seems, throughout the race. We're now heading down the final length. Matthew Wright is in the lead. And let's have a look at his stroke rate. Click, one, two, three. And we've got 80 strokes a minute next to him. Click, one, two, three. We've got 88 strokes a minute. So all these swimmers are swimming at a high stroke rate. We're now going to take a look at the men's 18 and over 100 metre freestyle. We're sticking with the 18 and over because these are mature swimmers um, who've obviously gone through puberty um, and are physically strong. So you want to really look what they're doing and it's directly comparable one race with another. It might not be so comparable if we're going, still going through puberty and we're getting the younger swimmers who are at different levels um, of maturity. So let's just start this um, and we'll rush through to the start. Now you'd expect these swimmers to be slightly faster than the others. Let's see how it goes. Right in the middle there we'll take yellow cap, click one, two, three. We've got 107 strokes a minute next to him in the lead, click one, two, three. We have 110 strokes a minute and yellow cap click. One, two, three. And we have 92 strokes a minute there. Now we're heading down the second length in James Oxborough in the lead. Lewis Clough close second and Tom uh, Gilligan uh, in third. Let's just set this to run and see how they're going. Right, so we have still straight arm swimmer. Click. One, two, three. That's 104 strokes a minute. Right of him, click, one, two, three, and we get 94 strokes a minute. Yellow hat, click, one, two, three, and we get 99 strokes a minute. All very high, but surprisingly, not that much higher 
than the 400 meter swimmers before. It'll be interesting to see how the 1500 meter swimmers compare. We're going to have a look at the 1500 meter freestyle heat seven heat, heat declared winners. So this is actually a final. Now we'd expect that the seeded people uh, from Barnet and Thanet here, Samuel and Thomas, um, these are the seeded people. Um, but as the race develops, Harry Whiteman actually gets out in front and it's interesting to see his stroke rate and some of the others. We'll show you from the beginning. Um, and here they are just about to start. We're going to take the stroke rate of the leader in the white cap. That's quite slow. Click, one, two, three. Now we've got a st stroke rate of 60 strokes a minute. Next to him, click, one, two, three. That's the blue hat in 81 strokes a minute. To the right of him, click, one, two, three and we get 86 strokes a minute. So there's a huge variation in stroke rates, but what we're seeing here is the faster stroke rate tends to be taking it out better than the slower stroke rates. This is a little over halfway through the race and Harry Whiteman has really taken it on. As you can see, he's quite well ahead of all the other swimmers. Let's just see what stroke rate he's got now. Click, one, two, three. And we've got 75 strokes a minute. So that is still high in the middle of the race. Now we're towards the end of the race, just heading down the last length of this 50 meter pool. And there he is still in the lead. And we've got click, one, two, three. He's picked it up again, 84 strokes a minute. So the slowest he's done is 75 strokes a minute, 75 strokes a minute. The highest he's done is about 84 strokes a minute. But he's kept that pace up throughout a 1500 meter swim. And really, if you want to swim a 1500 meter hard and fast, you really do have to think about getting that arm speed up, just like the pros in triathlete, just like these good swimmers at English Nationals. So there you see it. Although you might think that long loping stroke of a 1500 meter swimmer is actually going slow, it's not. It's going from about 75 strokes a minute up to about 88 strokes a minute if they're really starting fast or finishing fast. And that's hugely important for you to realise with your races because what you need to find is that point at which you start slipping the water or that point at which you can hold something fairly easily but keeping that stroke rate up. A faster stroke rate, if you can maintain a similar stroke length, has to be better than a slower stroke rate up to a point. It's for you to find that and get your coach to check your stroke rate over various distances. You should be doing 50s, 100s, 25s, 200s and checking your stroke rates out on all of those so you can see what you can keep and the length of time you can keep it. You need to find out every single thing about your race that's important. Okay so that's it for this week. Next week it'll be something slightly different. Keep well, enjoy your training or your off phase. There you go, some people need to be taking a rest right now if you've finished your triathlon season. Whatever it is, 